Hey everybody, welcome back to CS125 and happy Friday. So you've made it through two weeks of this class. Congratulations, you're doing great. Keep up the hard work, that's how we do this. So today's lesson is really important. Um, today, throughout the day, um, in office hours on the forum, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, engage you in conversations about mental health and computer science. And this is particularly important in this field because working with computers can be incredibly frustrating, it can be maddening, and it changes how you think about things. So computers are all analytical. They don't have a single ounce of compassion in them, particularly when you work with them and you write code. You get it wrong, it's totally wrong. And the computer doesn't say, hey, it's almost right, just made a small mistake. The computer just bars out this error message at you and it's like, whap, you know, like wrong, 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 wrong. That's essentially the experience a lot of you are having on the homework. And when you spend, as I have, a year, 10 years, 20 years, encountering that type of behavior, it changes you. Um, and there are some things that you can allow that to change you in good ways. Uh, you can allow it to change you in negative ways. So what we'll talk a little bit about today in the lesson is strategies for dealing with those errors and just you know moving past them because that's from a practical perspective what you gotta do. You just gotta figure out the error, fix it, and move on with your life. One thing I will point out is that you also should celebrate when things go right. So when you get the problem right, don't just move on to the next thing immediately. Slow down, take a minute, reflect, and think about the fact that, you know, I did something good. I accomplished something. Take a minute, breathe, you know, take a breath, look at the success message on the screen and take a minute to pat yourself on the back. Partly because you just made all those mistakes. So you've been encountering this frustration, this failure for a few minutes. You have to take a minute to celebrate when you get something to work. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about that today, but the lesson is primarily designed to give you some tips and some experience with the various types of error messages that you've already been working with in this class and that you will continue to work with throughout the rest of the semester. So um, I hope this helps. Um, please, if you have questions about these topics, don't hesitate to reach out to the course staff today or any other day in this class. Um, one of the biggest, uh, one of our biggest goals in terms of supporting you throughout the rest of the semester, you will learn this material if you keep working at it. What happens is that people give up. Uh, and I think one of the reasons they give up is because they get discouraged. And it's easy to get ground down by just this constant stream of negative feedback that you get from the computer. And so one of the main roles of the course staff is to support you with love and with you know congratulations and with smiles and with encouragement to keep you moving forward. Because if you keep moving forward, if you keep doing this one day at a time, you will get there. You'll learn it, and you'll get to the end of the semester, you'll do very well in the class. So good luck on today's lesson. I will meet you at the bottom.